Today on the channel, I try to control the sun with the Sun Man and the Rulers of the Sun Target Exclusive 3 Pack. The spirit of the warrior will run forever. Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for a Sun Man and the Rulers of the Sun unboxing and review and today on the channel we've got the Target exclusive three pack but for all your other Masters Universe Origins or Sun Man figures make sure you're hitting up Big Bad Toy Store use the link in the description below so today Sun Man Rulers of the Sun coming to the table here and of course we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're gonna see where it goes from there and this is an interesting one is this is a Target exclusive hitting store pegs around 10 1 10 2 uh, 1st of October as stores begin to do their Fall resets, a very interesting pack here, but a very steep price point of $49.99. Oh my gosh, what are we doing with these retails? However, uh, shortly before filming this video, Target has a big sale going on, I guess, through Saturday. So by the time most people watch this, the sale will be over. But this is down to like $34, so about $16 off at this point. I gotta be honest, gonna call a spade a spade. I do not think this will do very well at retail. Even being a Target exclusive at $50, I just don't know if there's enough meat on the bone here. Now, if this honestly was He-Man, Skeletor, and Clawful. Let's call it Clawful. That would sell a little bit better because say what you want about Sun Man. Me, I didn't know anything about Sun Man. I didn't have Sun Man toys growing up. I understand some people did, uh, but the majority of the world's population, I do not think knew who Sun Man was. And especially in this day, in 2022, it is a little tough to uh, push Sun Man onto people who've never heard of Sun Man. But that being said, it is out there. They are trying to grow the brand. And I would say Mattel has done more for the brand in the last two years than uh, the 80s by far. I think there's more awareness of the Sun Man character than there ever has been. And him being engulfed into the Master Universe Origins, or I guess should, I should just say Masters of the Universe Mythology, really does help the brand. So there will be a lot of crossover buyers. I got a lot of buddies, Midwest Wrestling Legend Gage Octane for one. He picked this up as well. Uh, so I think a lot of people will pick this up. But I think if you're smart, you play a little of that long game, you got to get a deal on this guy. And that's what I'm going to do. You go back to Target and say, hey, I need a price match. Drop this down to $34.99. $16 is $16. But let's take a look at the packaging here. I like the idea of this. It's just an interesting, interesting concept here. But we got a very cool packaging in the box. Of course, the 40th anniversary logo right there. Uh, we got Space Sumo. Is there a more 80s uh, thing than Space Sumo? I don't know if there is. He's a telekinetic ninja. Uh, something about a Space Sumo telekinetic ninja just uh, screams like 80s toy lines, early 90s toy lines. I mean, that doesn't look like a sumo wrestler I think of, but I guess he's a Space Sumo and he's a telekinetic ninja. My, oh my, that's a dangerous guy right there, but he is a good guy. Luckily, he's on that side of the fence. Then we got Sun Man right here. Now, this is our third, yes, third incarnation of Sun Man in the Origins lineup. We are also getting him, of course, in Masterverse. Uh, so we are getting a lot of Sun Man figures. We'll, of course, compare those later on in this very video. And then we got Pighead right here. Old Pighead, the dastardly evil one, of course, Pighead. Uh, we will have him later on in this video as well as we have received Pighead, a very similar one. I'm anxious to see what the differences are on some of these guys here. Uh, but I will say beautiful, beautiful artwork as usual on the front, as you guys can see. Uh, you got a little graphics on the side, a little... Uh, I don't know, little dinosaurs, whatever you want to call them there. Of course, we've seen those guys before in some of the other packaging. And then on the back, you get very Masters Universe Origins packaging on the back here. Uh, very interesting. It says, uh, Sun Man in Space Sumo, protect the first sun against the showdown dwelling Wicked One Pighead. So some cool uh, images right there. Uh, definitely a different version of Sun Man than we received prior. Uh, they're, of course, modernizing and celebrating the original 80s Sun Man and the Rulers of the Sun action figures. Master of the Universe Origin gives you the power to pose. Trifixa greatest pros. Jeez, what is this? Gives you the power to pose Trifixa's greatest warriors as retro style figures or in new action packed battle positions. So, Trifixa, it must be where Sun Man's from. Instead of Eternia, we got Trifixa here. I guess that makes sense. 
I don't know though. This is an interesting Target exclusive. This just seems very interesting all around. And I got to be honest, like I said earlier, I don't think it's going to set the world on fire. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. But without further ado, let's get this bad boy open here. Let's see what's going on. See what all the fuss is about. And I got to be honest, not a ton of fuss here. Not a ton of fuss. But we're still going to open it. Off to the races. See you later as I knock stuff off. Little plastic prison. And one thing I do like here is, look at this. Look at this. How about it? We get three separate comic books, it seems, right here. I believe those are comics. They do look like comics. So very cool. Maybe that'll help us uh, understand these characters a little bit more than we did going into this. And hey, I'm for that all day long. Some grandma picks this up for their grandkid. Hey, gives them a little reading material, a little history of the characters. I love that. That was what the 80s toy lines were about. This is a true love letter back to the 80s. So I like that. We'll take those offline, get those out. But let's look at these guys in the old plastic prison. Just an old school three pack is what we got right here. Space Sumo, Sun Man, and Pig Head. An interesting group if there ever was one. It's almost like a joke. So a telekinetic ninja, a Sun Man, and a Pig Head walk into a bar. Uh, it writes itself at, at the end of the day, I think. Get all these guys out. There it is. Uh-oh. Pig Head is locked in. That makes sense, though. He is a bad guy. They don't want him escaping. I totally understand it. They even locked down his weapon. Makes all the sense in the world. I'm tracking. I'm tracking. Pull that out. Pull out the old mace. And we are off to the races. See you later. Goodbye. All right, we're going to look at these guys one by one is what we're going to do. We're going to look at Sun Man first because he's right there in the middle. Uh-oh, we got all kinds of wrapping here. What is going on? Pig head and his weapons are crazy here. Uh-oh, throwing weapons around. It's going off the rails here. It's going off the rails. Reach down. Bam, there it is. All right. All right, let's start with Sun Man first. We'll look at Sun Man's accessories here. We get this same weapon we've seen before. It's, I don't even know what you would call this thing. It's like a, a blade slash sword, uh, all one color, all in red. It is apparently his patented weapon of choice. So we do get this once again. We do get the Sun Man shield here. Got the sun. Got the red and green colors. Very nice color combination. Looking really good there. So we have that. Of course, we do have these wings that I believe just will pop, pop off, pop on, pop off, pop off, pop on. There it is. Okay, pop that head back on. Oh my gosh, that's some tight fit. But we do get these wings. Now, we've seen these before. I guess I could grab these guys right now. We do got the Mattel Creations exclusive Sun Man right there. Uh, an interesting one. And then we do get the regular release Sun Man right here. Uh, both with very interesting head sculpts. Very um, Arnold Drummond. Reminds you of different strokes back in the day. One of my all-time favorite shows. Uh, does have a good Arnold Gary Coleman type head there. This is a much more late teens, early 20s, uh, you know, male, man, uh, sun man, sun man right here. This is what this looks like. And of course, the Masterverse that is coming out is more based on this head sculpt than the uh, more childlike head sculpts over here. Uh, he definitely looks good. I definitely do like this head sculpt better than the kitty ones. The kid ones just seem out of place. Once again, not a big Sun Man guy. Don't know all the histories of Sun Man, but I know what I see. I know what I like when I get it in hand. And that's what I got with the Sun Man here. Of course, the articulation is the same on all these guys. We'll walk through that real quick. Head removable, as you saw. Head side to side, back and forth. Arms all the way around. Single jointed elbow joint. Of course, hands removable. Hands back and forth. You get waist articulation. You get the old splits out of there. You get a little knee action. Ankles back and forth. And a little boot cut. And that's all you get. And that's really all you need for these figures in this style. Uh, but Sun Man definitely looking good. I definitely think this is the best Sun Man version we've had so far. Uh, of course, comparing it to some of these other ones, it really is a bit of a repaint. We got the same tights, trunks going on there. You got the same forearm guards, uh, same skin color going on. It's basically just the head is the difference here. Uh, even the, let's see, yep, maybe a little darker green here, but that could just be a paint from the factory type thing. Same color on the weapons, uh, same apparatus wings around the neck. It is the same thing. Uh, same boots going on. It is basically Sun Man with a brand new head. So when you're doing things like that, when you're coming out with basically bare bones change on a figure, a lot of people that have this one are probably going to pass on this pack because of this. This head, 
I don't know if it's going to be a draw enough uh, for the majority of the collectors out there. I mean, you guys can tell me once again in the comments. Uh, but it's definitely an interesting one. I will say I definitely do prefer this version of Sun Man, though. Uh, all day long, I do prefer the older one. I don't want to be fighting with kids. I don't want to be displaying kids for some reason. I don't know. I don't know what you would say. I don't want to be displaying kids. I don't know what that even means. But uh, I don't think I want to... I don't know. I just definitely do prefer this one at the end of the day. It, there's no doubt in my mind. No doubt about it there. And uh, this Sun Man, he gets the Duke over the other two. So I'm going to plug him into the ringside stand, of course. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Get a stand for these guys. And this is, of course, the Mattel stands we use for these, not the Jazzwares stands. So I'm going to put him over to the side. Old Sun Man, we took a look at him. Three Sun Men in the line. That's pretty wild if you think about it. It is pretty wild for a really, got to be honest, a deep cut character for most of us out there. So interesting uh, grab right there. Now we turn it over to the old Telekinetic Ninja. Now there is a heavy metal band around me called Telekinetic, Telekinetic Yeti. That's what I always want to call these guys. Very interesting one here. Something, a character I've never heard of. I will read the magazine, the little comic with it. Get more ingrained to the character here, but... Uh, it's definitely Space Sumo. You pull his, pull his hat off and he's off to the races. And what are we doing here? Unbelievable. This is the exact same head sculpt twice. So Sun Man and Space Sumo, they have the exact same head, just uh, color tone differences. You got the lighter skin here, the darker skin here. Once again, I don't know. I don't know about that. That's getting the most out of your molds to a totally different extreme when you can just change the skin color of somebody. And it's a oh, different figure, different figure. It really, truly feels like early 80s with this uh, going on here. So to me, I'm going to leave this mask on him. I want to make as much of a difference uh, from the Sunman figure as possible. Obviously, the skin tone's different, but using the mask, that's going to be a big difference here. But it's an interesting mask. First time in the line. First time we've ever seen that. But boy, that's that's a ballsy move, we gotta admit. They're just changing, doing some race swapping kind of what's going on there. Very, very, very interesting. Uh, but it is your typical figure that we've seen before in the Masters. Uh, he does got uh, Eternia's favorite loincloth. And then once again, oh my gosh, it's the same waist, it's the same arms. It is the same. It's just the vest apparatus is the only difference between these two guys. They just painted them different, so it's really getting the most out of your molds to an obscene level here. I don't know. I don't know if I can sign off on this three-pack. I That's a tough sign-off here. Of course, he does have his sword. I do like the sword. All one color, all uh, gray here. But man, oh man, this really is a disappointing set when it's so much reuse going on. The sword does fit in the back, though. I do like to be able to store it back there. I do like that uh, aspect of this. I'm going to throw him on a ringside stand as well. I'm sure he'll fit. But man, oh man... That is interesting. I mean, obviously there's a lot of reuse in this entire line from the Origins line. It is reuse city over and over. It makes sense. I understand it. But boy, in the same pack like that, boy, oh boy, that is tough. But I get it. It is a children's toy. Most kids, maybe they wouldn't know. But boy, I don't like that. I'm just not feeling it. I'm not feeling the Space Sumo Sun Man basically just swapping some color, swapping some paint. Same figure. That's a rough go. That's a rough go. And now we get Pighead, who is a very rough go because, of course, we already had him in the single series. So we got him right here. What are the differences between these two guys, if any? And I'm looking it over, and all I am seeing is a little bit more shiny paint on his belt buckle, shinier paint on his forearm guards, shinier paint on the fur on his boot, and shinier paint on the horns at the top of his head, shinier paint on his weapon both weapons so really we're just getting shinier paint that's all it is easy to throw him back in there because hey we already have the mold we already have everything just put a little different color on it and bam we're off to the races and that is exactly what they're doing with this pig head uh, I like this pig head. Once again, he is the bad guy of the Sun Man universe. I like the aspect of this. This is a very 80s character. He looks good. I like the tusks on the side. I like the coloring of him. I actually do prefer this one over the original one uh, that we got uh, from the Origins line because I do like the highlights of the colors here. Brings it out a little bit more. So I do like all that, but boy, oh boy, this is a lot of an ass for $50 here. A lot of an ass for 50 bucks. So he does fit on a stand. All these guys do fit on a stand, which is always nice but boy oh boy i gotta say fifty dollars does not feel right it didn't feel right from the get-go 
Now it's down to $34.99. That's what I'm getting this for. I can sleep a little easier at night. I might get a couple of minutes extra of sleep. But boy, you long gamers, if you wait till around Christmas time, I wouldn't be shocked to see this uh, uh, drop down to like $9.99 in some areas. I just don't think, unfortunately or fortunately, whatever you want to say, Sun Man doesn't resonate with the majority of the population like Masters of the Universe does. I think that's just a fair. That's calling a spade a spade. So I don't know if this is going to move at the same clip. I Actually, I do know. It will not move at the same. So it's going to be a tougher sell it's gonna go to clearance how deep will it get that will be the interesting one but if you're on the fence the 34.99 is pretty good definitely better than 49.99 i can't sign off on this being worth 49.99 i just can't 34.99 is probably the top lane where i'd like to pay for this really i think 9.99 to 19.99 is going to be the sweet spot for the majority of people if you play that long game and i think i really would recommend doing that it's just this didn't excite me as much as i thought it would and I didn't think it would excite me a whole lot to begin with, but just being such a paint swap in action across the board here, not a lot of meat on the bone. So a little bit of a rough patch with this set, if in all honesty, as far as my review goes. Hey, your mileage may vary. Maybe you love this. And if you do, let me know in the comments down below your thoughts. But it is what it is. So make sure you like this video, though. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. And then don't forget about social media, Sir Paul 64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. Support the channel over at ProSNTs.com. And don't forget about the Patreon. We get early access to videos like this, bonus content, early access to videos, uh, giveaways, a lot going on in the Patreon. And best of all, you do support the channel. So for the rulers of the sun, I am Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.